This is going to be Castle Highlands, a pretty small scenario that was another one that I tested while setting this up. And I know my character can currently get through it. So uh, I spent some time since the last one of these was recorded cataloging uh, all the scenarios that I have access to, listing out their difficulty ratings and any other notes and stuff that I have. There are going to be 60 total. And uh, I have them sorted in difficulty order, kind of. I have readmes for some of them. For this one I do. This is by an author named Samantha Da Silva. And her name came up a lot in my list. She has 11 scenarios of these 60 I'm going to be playing. This was her first. And uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. Princess Allura is missing her necklace. Hello and welcome to Castle Highland. All right. Am I ready for advancement? Not yet. Hi, I'm Fantasy. Um, included with this scenario is a character of that type named Fantasy. And you can meet them here in this scenario too. Alright, this is... Both guards say the same thing. Alright. So I need a blue key to go in there. Got my healing items in that spot. Alright, Fire Demon in the forest. Bat says nothing. Fire Demon says, Master's orders, I have to kill you. Alright, I'm just doing normal attacks. That did get it done. Uh, disarm. Disarm all the traps for the experience. Yeah, it hurts a little bit. So that's where I get the blue key. I could go downstairs with that. Uh, I'm not ready to yet, though. I want to look around outside first, but before that I want to heal. Fantasy, out of my way. This narrow little passage has a lot of people randomly wander into it. I could show what happens when I attack somebody friendly. Um, I think this is not the time or place to do that, though. Here's another old man who will kill me. Old man versus old man. Old man wins. All right. Uh, I think all the enemies just say, I'll kill you mostly. Well, no, the fire demon said master's orders. Had a little more to talk about. Okay, so this little island of trees. Mm, yeah, just goes all the way around here. Okay, so here's where I am. Uh, let's trace out a path all along the... I'll get you. Ouch. All right, got some money. I'm going to cast heal. So, skeleton, are you pre-placed? No, you're not. Well, maybe not. That heal didn't do much. Let's try again. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. A lot of variance on how effective the heal spell actually is. So yeah, the um, the disc image that I was using for this was haphazardly assembled and was kind of a mess in a lot of ways. Uh, here's a spot I can step into. Let's get out of bounds, just for fun. So if I go east and then go north... Okay, that seems accounted for. There are trees placed here. Uh, yeah, trees placed here. But not accounted for by putting a corner there. Anyway, yeah, so um, file system may have been corrupted in some way because I wasn't able to write files to it anymore. All my data was intact. I could still read files, but writing just didn't work. Okay, yeah, north of here is just, just of that. However, I found a much better... Uh, carefully constructed image with uh, Explorer and almost all the scenarios I wanted to play on it, and um, oh boy. Alright, I have enough range to do that now. I'm gonna go back for that fountain. And yeah, that one is uh, available to anybody who wants it, already put together very nicely, so from now on I'll be linking that in the description here. Uh, yeah, so this game was better preserved than I thought it was. Uh, so that's good. Not too hard to access. Yeah, so I had a nightmare of a time just getting this to run at all. Um, for the longest time I'd boot it up in my emulator and it would just crash on startup. And where I have it on real hardware, well the hardware just wouldn't boot at all. I don't know if something's wrong with the hard drive. Um, but I'm real happy I got this running now because it was the main thing that I wanted to preserve from that old 2GS hard drive I had sitting around. There's one more spot I can step into. Uh, and was worried may have been lost forever. But 
nothing of value was lost, and everything of value was carefully preserved by someone who got to it before I did. So I'm very happy about that. I can play this game again, and it's great. Out of my way, guard. All right, the only zap regenerator I've seen so far. I will drink from the fountain, too. I would have tried to choose a more unique looking uh, creature type for my character than old man, but like, no matter what I choose, there's going to be somebody like me around because every NPC type will be used in at least some scenarios. All right, so Quizzer wants to know, who's the princess here? As we found out from the townsfolk, it is Allura. And Quizzer goes away. Not ready for spell points. All right, so another fountain, another zap regenerator, some traps to disarm, and an onyx door. Hey, bat, do you talk? Who are you? <laughs> the bat asks who I am. All right. Moneymonger, give me four ninety-five in gold. Well, um, what's funny, though, is the way this moneymonger is placed. Uh, you don't actually have to pay it. I have 29 right now. Let's see if we can pay that one, because you can just go diagonally around it. These don't look friendly. Oh yeah, they want to kill me. Yep. Do you talk about that? Yep, you sure do. Zap, zap, zap. Okay, I'm gonna go back for healing. And that. So yeah, doing this exercise of cataloging these uh, scenarios gives me a way to figure out like what I can play in which order. Because uh, this character really needs to level up. I'm hoping my level ups can just happen naturally by playing default difficulty scenarios until uh, before getting to the, the cranked up ones. Is this boy going to fight me? He sure is. What do you have against an old man? This guy would level me up if I was ready. <laughs> Even if he's not on my team, he'll still do his job. Oh, yeah, tough boy. All right. Uh, I'm looking for Onyx Key, by the way. Uh, there's a boat I can take. I forget what the route is through here. Let's try this and see how it goes. There's some money. Okay, I do have the blue key. I had to to get here, right? Illegal command. Oh, wait. There we go. I tried to open the wall. Onyx key. There we go. Since those chests contain randomized amounts of money, let's see. 258. Again, I think I can land in a situation where I just don't have enough for a money monger. What is Allura missing? Let's see. This is pretty specific about what it wants. Like, you have to type the exact phrase that the quizzer was initialized with. It doesn't take necklace. I think it doesn't take her necklace. I think it's a necklace. There we go. So clearly the necklace is going to be the goal object in this one. I think so far we've had a different goal object in each. Yeah, first was the golden shield, then in Pantheon was the crown, and here it's going to be the necklace. I am Princess Allura. Please find my necklace. All right, then. That's where she's hidden away. Uh, I want to fight that skeleton. I need the experience. All right. Hi, not fantasy. You're going to kill me. Not if I do anything about it. Getting hit from both sides. So an interesting thing, if somebody dies but you want to see what they said without restarting the scenario or going to the editor. One thing I'm pretty sure that can happen is in the room where they died, if a random monster spawns, they can inherit the speech that uh, the person who died had been assigned. I've used that a few times to find out what, like, if speech is assigned to a, a, a wizard or a warrior, um, since normally talking to them just says not ready for spell points or advancement. Uh, you can get at that string in the game by spawning a random monster and talking to it. Sometimes. What are you yakking about? Zap, zap, zap. 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 I'll kill you. All right, then. Zapping the fairy was really unnecessary, but that's what I did. I don't think there's another zap generator down this way. All right, snake wants to kill. Spider wants to kill. Uh-huh. Ouch, they're being pretty successful. How is my experience? 
I'm having a pretty good time. 391. All right, I should be able to level up after the end of this. I almost can already. Oops, I tried to heal. Ah, here we go. Here's the stuff I need. Castle, and there's a secret passage just there. There's trouble in the room beyond. There's trouble in the room beyond. Not only trouble, but also the necklace. So necklace is here. Ah, spider. This room is dangerous. Uh, spider wants to kill me. Ouch. I think there are traps in here somewhere. Yeah, there are. Okay. This room is dangerous. I could die here if I'm not careful. Let's try not to. I want that fountain. There we go. Okay, moneymonger and... Uh, Stoneman in there. A bunch of money. Past the monger. But also I need a, uh, a white key, and I don't believe I have one of those right now. Okay, is that all the traps? Nope. Do not have that key. Okay. So I need to use the onyx key back there where I saw the mage fighting the, the bat or whatever. Because that's the only place I haven't gone yet. I did get an onyx key, right? I think I did. Somewhere. Out past that water. All right, so how much money do, do I have? 924, okay, let's uh, talk to this thing. Thank you for the gold, it goes away, and uh, 429, all right. You say, Princess Allura would like to see you. So yeah, that bat was scripted to say, who are you? <laughs> and Princess Allura has already seen me. Dungeon. All right, so I happen to know a trick here. Like normally I would have to go across this lava, and there, there are uh, traps here, by the way, all along, uh, and back. This unpleasant journey the whole way, but I, I know a little trick here. If I were to set a force field over the lava, like over the thinnest part of it, regenerate, and then take away the force field, what do you suppose is gonna happen to the lava? It doesn't store the type of floor under there, it just has a default floor type assigned for each room, and the default floor type in here is these stone tiles, so therefore I made a shorter path across the lava. I could make a completely safe path if I wanted. Um, I'm choosing not to. Right, there's also a fountain on this side. Okay, so the uh, the way the gold was set up, I do get enough for both money mongers, and I got the white key. Great. So I'll go ahead and play that way. Pretend I don't know how to move diagonally. Well, not here though. All right, and I have all the tools I need for victory. Then I get some extra money after the last money monger, just because scenario builders love to hand out money. I wonder if there are any future plans for this game to like introduce more uses for money. There was something Jason said in his readme about like, if you find the game interesting, maybe I'll work on it some more after the summer, something like that. Thank you for the gold. All right. Oh, but the money serves another purpose here. It's solid, so I can make my own path to this stone man. Like, I can force him to step south here. And there we go. Oh, does he talk to me? You can't have that necklace. It's mine. My ouch overlaps his speech. <laughs> I'm talking over you. All right. There we go. Oops, I zapped again. And here we go. I win. Okay, let's uh, keep playing and level up, because I want to level up. Uh, where am I? There I am, upper right corner. Talk. My level is raised. All right, just once. Oops, can't get the fountain. 102, good. So yeah, stats are the same. Every, uh, every level multiple of four it will increase, or so I'm told. And I ended up with 816 money that I can't do anything with.
All right, cool. I don't think we need to look at this in the editor. That's uh, the whole thing as far as I know. I could poke around in there for secrets, but I think I don't need to. All right, that's Castle Highland. Uh, make sure to save character because I'm going to keep that experience for next scenario. I'll see you then.